Hi everybody, welcome back to Rabbi Night. I am Avnish. Today we are building a news aggregator project using Munster. This project will help you understand how to fetch and display news articles from external API. So let's get started. Before we dive into the code, let me show you what our final project will look like and features it will have. This is our news aggregator website. It's responsive, meaning it looks great both on desktop and mobile devices. As you can say that it smoothly adjusts its size according to the screen size of different screen sizes. You can change the theme of it also. Here are some of its features. News article display. You can read title, descriptions, author name, published date and time and source. The source of the original website where you can read the full article. So if user wants to read the full article, they can click on the source and it will be redirected to the original website of that article. Here user can read the whole article. Category selections. So if a user wants to read the top headlines of different categories, for example, business, entertainment, journal, sports health and politics user can filter out news based on the different countries also so if a user wants to read only news of united states they can select the country united state and read the articles of the that specific country for example, user just wants to read the news of Indian articles. They can select country as a India and read the Indian latest news. Before we start coding, there are a few prerequisites you will need. Node.js and VS Code. Visual Studio Code as our code editor. You can download both of them and install in your system from their official website. Basic knowledge of JavaScript and React. This tutorial assumes that you have basic understanding of JavaScript and React. If you don't have that, don't worry, we will cover everything in deep. So let's start it. And now we need to set up our backend. For that, create a folder name news aggregator and open with VS Code. Now create another folder in our news aggregator with the name of server. And here we will initialize our server. So first change your directory to the server and we will initialize MPN. It will create a package dot the JSON file with all dependencies. Now we will install our required dependencies. For that we will write MPN install. As you can see, our dependencies has been installed. Let's create the file structure in the root of our project. Create a file name server.js in our server folder. Open the servers.js and here we will write our server code. First, we will load our environment variable from .env file using .env. So first create a file with dot env here we will store our api key uh, as we can see we load the environment variable from dot env file using dot env this will keep our api key and other sensitive information safe now we can import the express axios and cross for that we will write okay so we have imported express axios and cross express is a minimal flexible node.js web application framework that provide a robust set of features for web applications axios is a promise-based HTTP client for browsing and Node.js. 
which will use to make requests to our external API. Cross is a middleware that allows us to enable the cross origin resource sharing, which is necessary because we will making requests to our server from a different domain. For example, our uh, front end, which will be in React. Now we will create an instant of our express application by calling the express function. For that, we will create another constant variable. Uh, and we will use an express function this app object will use to set up our routes and middleware okay we use app dot use cross to enable the cross for all routes in our application that allows our front end which might be running on different origins to make a request to our backend we also use app dot use express url encoded extended to to pass the incoming request with url encoded payload setting extended true true allow us to pass nested objects which will be used for more complex data structure now we will create an another constant which will store our api key okay we store our api key in constant we access this api key from environment variable using process dot env this key will be used to authenticate our request to the news api ensuring that we have permission to access the data so for the api key we will, will open our browser search newsapi.org create your account and get the api key so by this api key which is for free where we get the live top headlines for, which will be around a 24 hour delay and the crowds origin resource sharing is enabled for only local host so we are going to create it for our local host so copy the api key and paste it over here don't use this api key because i will delete after this video create your own account and use your own api key go back to our server now we will create a function fetch news this function will be responsible for making the great request to our provided url using xus so let's create our fetch news function for that we will write function fetch news okay so this function fetch news is responsible for making a get request to the provided url using xios let's break down it further so the xios.get url this sends a get request to the url we pass in then this dot then responds if a request if the request is successfully executed the code inside the blog we check if the response dot here we have a response response dot data dot total result is greater than zero then to ensure that there are results if there are result we respond with a json object containing the status success flag message and data so we will response with that json fine what if there is no data then we will write another condition which is else then we will response with a json object showing the status 200 
success equals to true and message no more reason to show but what if we catch an any error so for that we use catch dot catch and another response with the json status will be 500 success will be false message will be fail to fetch data from the api and we will have an error then error will be printed a message let's close this and close this okay so we have created a function fetch news with url and response we are using xcs to get the url and we are also handling the error using dot catch so if there is an error during the request it executes this block we respond with json object containing the status flag error message and the error details okay so we have done uh, two typo mistakes so here we have to type response so remove this a and 2s now here we will define a, a route to get all this so we are now going to define a route to get all this so app dot get and uh, this uh, set up a gate route and we are using a callback function to execute so for that we will write all news here we will define a callback function and we will create a variable let variable url and for the url we will go to news api documentation and here you can see that everything for uh, fetching the news uh, all news is we can use this http api news rg everything this is specific for the bitcoin but we will little bit tweak it to use for all news so we will use backtick and paste this over here now we are not using it for just bitcoin right we are using for everything so if you go back to the documentation you will see two parameters page size and page so for for example one page means there will be number of articles for the one page so one request could be say uh, one request equals to one page right and that uh, one page could contain 100 default articles so it's default to 100 so we will use these two parameters so let's just use them we will create another two let variable page size and let page now this page and passage could be in a string so if we are sending from our front end it could be in the string so we will need to pass it into integer right because the uh, as we can see 
here it is using int as a data type so we will have to pass it in integer and we will request the query so it will set a default uh, page if default page is not available we will use a uh, 40 page size means it will give a 40 article per page and for the page let pass it or pass it into integer also similar we will use o function if uh, and default is not set we will use one page and now we will change it our everything api to page and page page size for that we will use d equals to page page is the red page and page size is page size and as we can now use this constant variable api key over here so for that we will use curly bracket and we will use a fetch news function it will take url and it will response us okay so let go through our grid route for all use once again so this line set up a gate route at all news when the route is exist the callback function is executed this callback function is going to be executed uh, this read page size query parameters and cut it into an integer it is not if it is not provided it defaults to 40 and this similarly this read the page query parameters and default to it one if it is not provided then we construct a uh, url for the api request including the page size and page parameter and this is for every news means all news this calls the fetch news function with the constructed url and response object which we have created over here now let's set our port Finally, we have set the server to listen a port defined in our environment variable for the port and we have used again a callback function uh, which console log server is running in print whatever the port is. So now let's just run this server. Okay, so we have done a little bit mistake over here, semicolon to be here. Okay, so now just go to your server directory and write node server dot js okay so i check the code and the problem over here is that we are we give as a u as a capital so do it as a small and run this and when you type 3000 couldn't get now when you type all news it will display all the news it's around 40 articles here you can see the author title description url url to image publish it and content everything has been in the format of json here we can see the status is 200 successfully fetched the data okay as you can see that our localhost for the all news has been working so our route route for the all news has been working now let's create route for top headlines so similarly we will create a router for top headlines 
we will create app dot option and it will have top headlines and it will come from our front end so we are using cross which is cross origin resource theory for that we will also use the same way get and create a callback function for it also so app dot option top headline this handle pre-flight request for the cross for the top headlines route and app dot gate top headline this set up the gate route at slash top headlines where it page page size and for the category as we are required category right for in top headlines so we will create another variable with the name of category again request query now for the category there should be a default category right uh, user can change uh, from front end but there should be a default category when they select top headline so uh, let's just give um, them a category and a default category as business and set the url so url will be the same so we will go to official website again here you can see the top headline section and okay so it is for the top headline for particular country but we are just requiring a top headline for particular category right so we can use the similar uh, definition of it copy it use back tick paste it over here and like here we use for everything now we are using for top headlines and category could be anything which could be select from the front end so we will create an away so we will use our variable category equals to and this problem over here we have to set an language because we cannot use category uh, uses of any kind of language right so for example if uh, it is top headline and it's coming from china so it should be in english right so we will use a language parameter also so you will use end and we can use language similar but we are creating for an english audience so we will write english and same as in our own news we set page and page we will set the page and page over here also so page equals to okay so we call the functions once again now open the terminal and run the server so uh, we will run the server once again so now we will write localhost uh, 3000 and for all news we are going to type top headlines okay so it's not able to read the page because here it is a response we have to set it to the request uh, that's it uh, this might work for this okay so we have to again run the server now let's see yeah 
it is able to fetch the top headlines it's around 80 headlines i think so yeah it's working well now let's go and set up our another route for the country specific news okay so for that we are also going to do the same thing for as we done for the top headlines so option okay so for the country what url which is needed we have to see so for the country specific we are going to re need a country with iso code along with so we require two letter of iso code uh, with the country that's it so we will write here country slash so Okay, so for the country, we route and fetch top headline for the specific country. So that uh, similarly, app dot option, this handle pre flight request for cross for the country iOS route, ISO route. App dot get this setups get route at country slash ios where the ios is url parameter representing the country code we read the page size and page from the query parameter with default value constant country this read thread the ios parameter from the url we construct the url using this parameter called fetch news and this url can construct it from here from the documentation here you can see that it fetching the top news for the particular country and the country will be fetched using the iso code and that code gonna be request from the front end and if we want to check if this has been working or not over here country and okay so we are putting it wrong here will be slow semicolon and here you can say that success status but there is no result to show right now okay so there is no more result to show right now but our data has been means our api has been working and it's able to fetch now that our backend is ready let's move on to the front end we will use witty and react to create our user interface for that open your terminal clear the terminal over here and uh, for creating vt react we will write npm create vt at latest and the name of the our uh, folder so we will write client here it will ask what we are going to use we are using react so select react and we will use javascript so select javascript now we have to change the directory to client and install all the necessary dependencies so install okay as you can see our project dependencies has been installed for the vt react we created a new vt project with the react template and install the dependencies vt is modern front-end built tool that provide a faster and linear development experience for the modern web projects now we can run our project also 
for that we will use mpn run there and it will start at 5173 port of localhost uh, you can open this link to your browser as you can see that our material project has been successfully started this is the basic starting page of the vt react project so for that open your client folder go to their html uh, here you can see uh, we have write the news aggregator uh, and app.css you can remove all this kind of css right now and index.app you can remove this all div sections to and index.css also you can remove and main.gxs okay so how it's work let i create h1 take right and i write hi there welcome to error by night so this should be display over there right here it is displaying now uh, for styling purpose we can give it a class name for example we give it a class name hi right uh, here we will use hi and can give the color for example red on size Seventy pixel. Here you can see it's seventy pixels. But we will not do that. We will not going to write our whole logic and template in app.jx. We will our different component over here. For creating the components, we will create another folder and source with name of component. In source, we will create our component folder. So here we will write components, and in this component, we will create our different components. For example, we will create a header of JX. It, uh, here we will create our navbar. Before creating our header, a navbar, first we will have to configure is because we are going to use tailwind for our design purposes so go to your browser search tailwind css here you can see the installation now we have to do what uh, we have to install the tailwind css or that just copied that open our terminal uh, clear the terminal and just install the tailwind css now after that we have to create a file tailwind config.js so we will copy this file create in our client as you can see that our tailwind.css config has been created now we will copy this and paste over here now we will copy this to and paste in our index.css okay now you can search in the screen size as okay here you will get different media means for responsiveness we can directly copy this and put it our in our uh, tailwind.config so that we don't have to write the media take in our 
CSS again and again. So for that we will just copy this and we will copy this screen, paste it over and we will create another component with name colors for example light background we will use that's it our configuration for that element has been done now let's go back to our header component okay so we will require react dom also so install that also so open your terminal once again in our client we will write npm install react router dom okay our react router dom has been installed now we will import some necessary dependencies so for import react We will import the links from our router. So, write links. L should be capital. Okay, now we will create our function. So, for function, uh, we will do header. And here we will create a return functions. So, return. Now we will create. Here we will create a header for HTML and nearby and here we will create URL. Here we will create a different types of li. Okay, and we will create another list and one more for the all news one for the top headlines one for the now in header we have created a new bar and let's just give a tell one css to that our new bar give it fixed top equals to zero left equals to zero w z index section we will create an h3 tag let's just give the name to that hp tag we will create an span tag here we will write the name of the class as a logo and this we will create an image is image tag here we will write source okay so for the source you can um write here like for example, you have a logo in your assets, right? So what you can write here is import whatever the name of your logo. So for example, logo from uh, our assets, right? So we will write here dot assets slash logo dot png. And here you can directly write uh, logo but right now we don't have the logo so we will give it an alternative if logo is not loaded it will show simple news aggregator so we will remove this yeah that's it now let's just give a class name to our ui let's just give a class name here we are using let's just give a ul new ul that flex and gap okay so all this tailwind you can go to the official website and for example if you search your flex you will get all different kinds of tailwind here so you can just copy my tailwind css or you just can go to the here and try to find what suits for your websites Okay, now we have to create some constant. So this our header function. We will create some constant. 
and we will use our street as a false now here we can use it okay so this will be the link right so we will use a link tag uh, which we have imported from the route right so we are using link and here we will give it a class name and um, for example link have a uh, underline right so if you go to the telling cases and write underline offsets so you can see you um, underline hover offsets underline what they, uh, what they just do is that when we use a link there will be a underline whatever the name of our link so here we will say no underline line uh, font will be sim bold uh, this will work like two plus two we will set this so it's our default and it work on click when we click it we will set this set active and it's not equals to active we will write here um so there should be a okay now this should work fine this should not be copy braces over here we'll set to the okay so when a user click what we, we have done is that when a user click all those it will be route to this and we will go back to our here and right now we have not route but we will route here right okay so go back to our hidden section again and here we will write another class name and this is drop down right uh, we give a drop down box so for example if it is for for just headline top headline so it will show the categories to them so we will write drop down list and here we will same create the link and same no underline font flex item again we will use an on click function okay so we will create a yeah called stand state also for this so first right here set show so, first we will create a constant over here so that it will be easy to for us to load in our return function so here we will create constant variable which will be an array okay so similarly we created an array variable using use state as a false for our country now we can create for the category also so here we will write category drop down and we can set this to category drop and this also use state as a false as we are using the category so right uh, create a constant variable and here let's create a name with category and here we will create an array or a list with all the category for example business entertainment Okay, so we set our categories also now we can use this uh, set function in our on click function so 
show so we will use set show category drop down and not show category drop down to false okay um now we can write here top headlines so it's like top headlines and here we can use an, an icon whatever we want to use so for that we will use afterward now let's go to the way okay. so now we will create an, a toggle so for that uh, we can use the toggle on click functions again so for that we can use link in class name in no underline give a simple font design to it um it will be at some one click equals to toggle uh, for this toggle we can select uh, toggle we can go to the code pen and use this toggle so for that we just have to copy the copy the this lapel function we will paste it here in our link section and just correct the format and we can create an, an input section also so uh, user will give an, an input so for example uh, it's like a type check now we will create an, an another ul for our country sections so for that we will create a ul here with list okay, we will use a class name as our constant which we have created and set to this for example we will write drop down p2 to drop down now um, as our drop down for our country has been a uh, click so there should be a name of our country and there should be a flake right to identify the country so for that we will use a flag cd so you can go to the website flag and here for the country flag you can use the api to call them so for that just uh, we will create a function of javascript which will work like a one click function when we click on the drop and uh, drop down box it will use us click name with click logo so for that we will create country dot map functions so we we'll write here country here we will create country drop on button set your country drop down button and here we will write the image source so image tag uh, remove this here we will write the source which is element dot element here we will use back tick and we can write the our plague cd.com http so https plague cdn.com uh, which will be 32 into 24 and now we can use our the image is not getting loaded we will give an alternative for it which is 
we will create an instant take over here we're not getting it from header so okay so we have to write this in our link function we use this closing take this will activate when the url will be like this so uh, the url is like country slash and uh, it will has the uh, iso so we will write element and your dot i so to alpha and uh, i can give the class name for the design flex okay and this will work on click function okay so we created a function for the uh, our toggle theme so we have used the theme as a body class name and we are getting by document we create a function with the two condition if and else if our theme is equals to light theme then it will give them an option of dark theme or uh, our light theme will be set as a default if you go to uh, here we have used country and country name okay, so for that uh, country names we will create another component with the name of countries dot jx here we will write all the country names right so for that uh, we require two letter i s o so we will go to go back to our news api and go to the documentation and when you select the top headlines so it will suggest a two letter iso code so we will select this so let two letter okay so it will be very tough for us to write single single name so we can open chipgpt and we can give this as a and we will in uh, say that make the format correct and also create the variable i also country country equals to where we will write for example so let's see it will able to write or not so yeah our two uh, two letter i also has been formatted very easily and uh, other uh, two letter with the full name has also been written so we will copy this it will go up to zimbabwe for i think we have z so it will go up to zimbabwe yeah we will copy this paste it over here um we have two letter ios everything is been set up okay now we will uh, let the country we have two letter as for each we are using loop shift where our uh, which we have created two letter iOS alpha to alpha so it is here so we will take this uh, use as an element Uh, for png we will use uh, again the same uh, url in our header section 
So we will use this same. Um, but there will be a little bit tweak here. Is that okay? So we have used the we have to use the back tick, and here we will set our element only because PNG. Now the country names. Country name which we have created right now. So we get country name diamond dot to upper case and now we will push this in our object now we will create a function where we can create this country code on country names so for that we will create another function get country name with country code country code And a array with the country code. If it is not available, then we will create an else and we will return directly a country code. Okay. So it's not curly braces, we are using a function. So for that. We have to use this small bracket and we will log console dot log country and we will export. okay so we have created an another component with the name of countries we have a two letter ios which is required or here for the country specific country news and we have created the you know, country uh, ios country with the full name so uh, if a user wants to read the full name of the country we will get it from here now we will go to our header sections again and here we have created a drop down menu for our country so, for so we are getting the country name from there and we are getting the uh, country uh, name name dot from country dot country dot jx so we will have to import the country here so for that we will write import and we are importing from uh, countries so we are putting countries from countries so that's it uh, okay now we will go to the our app.css we will give a universal CSS for all the tank for that we will use star uh, margin let's just set margin equals to zero and padding also plus to zero and box size will be a border box okay and we have added the css so we are using this image as our background for the light theme this is uh, this image has been taken from this 12 css as you can see that we have expected and taken the background and when you go to dark mode and uh, this dark mode uh, image has been taken from here Tailwind CSS okay 
so and we have put the whole CSS in one go if you want this CSS you can check link in the description you can get the github repo link where you will find this CSS now we will go to our app.jx and here we will import our header so for that we will write import we are uh, importing our header from so for that we have to go to the header sections and we have to export this so what we have to just write export uh, default header and in app.jx we will write components and header and to use this as our um, route we will import the router functions also so for that import browser router and we are creating two routers so we will write router router from react dump. that's it and this in return function we will create an empty with the name class name with root with class name full and we will create a browser router and here we will create an header sections which we have been using and then we will give the paths uh, right now we have to create news top headlines in country but we have to give the routes also so for before that we will export use export over here if we go to our html index.html main file here we say the id as a root and here we have the app we are getting element by root and let's see let's run it so for first clear our console we will write npm run there okay so we are getting in logo so we are not using the logo so we will remove this line of logo okay it's just defined our card component where our new is gonna be fetch so we will create a card here we will import the react library and create a card function and we will pass a prop as a attribute as a parameter which will be responsible for fetching the data now let's just create our divs for the card let's just create our div for the card and this is the universal div now we will create another div for the title of of the news so here we will create another div here we will create b tag where our title will be and just use props dot title okay so how we are using this for that we will open our terminal and go to server for directory and when we do nodes node server dot js and go to browser localhost 3000 all news 
here you can see that uh, our title has been coming to the title attribute descriptions url url to image so by using prop.title we are fetching this title right so we will use prop.title and we will create another view here we will fetch the image so for that we will use image tag and here there will be a source so source will be image your right so we will create image so probe dot image your and if there is not an image we will use directly an alt alternative of it which is image now we will create another div for the description so for the description we are using a paragraph tag in this tag we will describe our description so um, props description which will be in the form of string so we will and there should be a limit of description right so we will use um, substring of word around 0 to 0 is minimum 200 is maximum all right now we will create another day for our info info like source right so we will create uh, once one more div here let's just give the class name as info and create another div for our source so for that we will create a uh, spend tech and and here we will write source and we will use an anchor tab so our source will be displayed over here so in this anchor tab we are gonna use link which will be prof.url will target as a blank And here we will give the source also should be around 0 to 70 means we are not required to get the whole link if it is longer than that then we will not use it from 0 to 70 words okay now we will create an another team for the author name so for that we will use the p tag and here we will create an another spend tag here we will write uh, author and in our p tag we will use props that author and here we will display the published date and time so for that we will again create an spend tag right here published here we will create which is prob published at okay so whole this will be going to be in another one another div so let's just create that div and just copy that it over here okay so that's how we to define our card now let's just give them a class name and little bit tailwind CSS for them so for here and let's just give it everything card and give the mar top margin of 10 pixel
this is our description so we will give a uh, class name description and this is our info as we already give the class name info and let's just give a pre-built pre tailwind let's just give a pre-built tailwind css to it source slash info is a flex item is center this will be a gap of two and just give the font to it and just give the class name to our anchor link anchor take also after target let's just give a class name to our anchor take also so we can design it so link and underline brick word okay it's for the origin flex and uh, we are here giving a origin item as a name of the class so that we can edit our author let's say ask you a phone dot okay so we have created the card for our title description info where we have saved the image as anchor tag and we created a source or origin card also in our main div which is author name and publish it out time now let's just give a little bit style to our card for that we will use this okay so we have created the uh, normal card for our news so we have created a flex card right and this is what we have added so we have added the designs to it and we have created the uh, another div for these style purposes now we can create a loader function so for that just create a component called loader here we will import react library again and we will create a function called load loader and we will return it but a class div tag and let's just give a class name to it loader container uh, width is full absolute will be flex and justify the it as a center of our website and top margin is zero and left also zero and now we will create an span tag class name loader and we will import this in our different section for example in header card all news and all those component for first of all we have to export it export default and we will export our function and we have to export our card function also okay now we have to create three sections example news where we will get all news is top headlines and country news so for that we will create three component first it is news second it will be our top headlines projects and there will be a country news so for that we will use country news dot jx there will be a country news so for that we will write country news and we will create an another component for it also now we have country news uh, news and top headlines so first we will create a top headlines okay for that we will import our use state so and we will also import the react and we will also import the use effects for our routes 
and we will also import the card which we just created so for that we will write import card function and we are importing from the card right and we will also import the loader uh, right now our loader uh, css will have to be right so go to the index.css here you can see the loader css the css has been taken from the internet uh, pre-built loader for that you can copy the whole css because the css is bigger uh, it around 341 lines so i'm not writing this here so one by one you can uh, go in you can go to the link in description and find the get of repository you can go in the description find the you can easily find the github repository get of repo and you can directly copy the css from there we will not write one by one css so let's come back to our all news here we have imported our loader now we will create a function okay so now we will use a constant variable to use the state state variable and save the data page and total results so for that we will use constant this is state variable data so data store the list of the news of articles page store the current page number total res result store the total number of news article available is loading indicate whether the data has been loaded or not now we will create a uh, page handling functions so function handle previous okay so we have created two different functions handle previous and handle next handle previous decreasing the page decrease the page size page number by one handle next increase the page number by one for fetching the data we will use effects we will fetch now in our server.js we are fetching from news api now our server has been created and when we run that we, it's run on localhost 2003 uh, on localhost 3000 now we will copy this and fetch the article from our server so for that we will go to our news here we will fetch from localhost all news and here also we will use the parameter for the page and page size when we click on this that should also fetch the data yeah it's working now we will handle the error by then response f response dot okay set is loading calls to true and return response dot clone addition dot data dot total results and then set data is to my json dot data dot articles is loading as it is to points and I'm going to I will create as pitch. Um, the use effect hook and run whenever the page changes it said is loading true um, true to show the loader if fetch data from the api server using the fetch api if the response is okay it pass the json and update the total result and data is set is loading false once the data is fetched 
now for the render we will use return function we will use return again and this is the great use of react that we can reuse the component now we can directly use our card component where we have written the title equals to now we will get direct element dot title description equals to element dot description and image url okay so for the image url to image and t is the capital so we will write here dot publish it publish it and we will have a url for the source so url and we have element dot url we have the author name element dot author yeah that's author and we can use the source equals to element dot source dot name so for the source we use this object source and we are using just name we will not uh, give the full and we will use a key as an index index yeah so we have uh, use our default component and we reuse it right and when we use our card component with key and when it is loading we will use another our component which is loader so loader slash and we use our loader component we use our two component one is card and one is loader here and we use our fetch use effect for fetching the data and we store all those in here using the card component now now let's create about the pagination the button previous next so for that we will use is loading function again and and we will use a div class with a class name and we will align the item in the center so here we are creating two um, page which is uh, um, next button and previous button for that we will create a button which will be disable until we click on it so disable and there will be a page default page which is less than equals to one uh, let's just give this button as a class name and page nation button let's just do this text center and this will be work when we click on on click function now we will use our two functions which we have created handle previous and handle next so here we will create handle previous function handle and we will create an happy tag here we will give class name I 
and we will use an, an arrow okay so what we are doing here is that we have created a pagination so when on the next and previous it will active and we have created a component render a greet card component is loading true otherwise it show the, the component so we use a component card component if it is not working then it will show the loader and below the grid it show the pagination control if it is loading is true so if loading is true this will work otherwise it will not work now we can export this um, export default and the function name which is news in similar way we will create uh, top headlines so we just copy this and paste in top headline here we have to do little bit of changes so as we are using the farms in our server okay so for q uh, we have created a category so we have to use the farms for this so in top headlines we have to change the name of the function top headlines we have to create an, an another constant variable for arms and we will use the this loading total result will be seen the pagination will be the same uh, let fix the page size so page, let uh, page size equals to six and uh, in our card uh, in our news also we have to fix the page size so let's fix that also so for you we will create a let variable page size equals to six in our top headlines now we have to change little bit uh, our fetch api key so right now we are using for the onlys so we have to use the categories so the categories which we have created in our category farm so if you goes to the header we have created a category constant category so we are going to use it in our top headlines so for that we will use which will be arms and this we use for handling the empty category now we have to change on this little bit so similarly we have created in server.js um, just copy this from top headlines to the end of it and here we, go, we will go and we will remove from all news uh, now we will use it from top headlines so top headlines language category language page and pagination will be same but here we have to set the uh, category farms so right now we have to do one thing one more thing okay so we can remove this cut this and from here uh, we can use language uh, english and here we can use the uh, category here we can uh, change our response also if it is not equal to then we will do a little bit of error handling so for that we will use throw arrow which will be fail to fetch data and it will return our uh, this line then we will create a json variable json of the json will result data 
then we will do is loading as opposed to quotes to put the semicolon and we will do one more thing to catch the error so we will use catch we will log the error error of reaching and we will print the error once and we will set is loading as a false and here we have to give one more parameter which is farm dot category which we have created over here so it will be a farm dot category return function we use the similar way we map the data create a card component so let's just make it look cleaner so okay so we have to change it a little bit so if data length is greater than zero and if it's not work then we will use another p tag and write no articles um, for this category or uh, criteria and then we will use our loader and we will use loader here and the pagination will be the same uh, as previous uh, no need to change anything over here and we will export our new function which is top headlines in a similar way we will copy this and paste it over okay so there is one error showcasing over here okay so it is here now done we will go to in country news again copy this whole thing and in country news we also have to change a little bit so for example uh, we use farm that's it that's good similar way we will use the we will remove this category function and we will change this for the country so we will write country slash we will remove this farm and here we will use arms dot i s o and the country then we will have the country code then the page and the page size and we will have to response it so we will return a function so we will, uh, our response is okay remove this not equals to and if response is okay we will use to response with our json no need to clone it and else we can handle our error else we can log the error which could be console dot error to which data and we will set our loading function to false if it fails to load then we will return now to prevent setting empty data if the result is failed then we will use again margin file and then we will do the same thing and we will remove this catching error and set our categories to ios categories to iso and similar way we will return this with the card and our pagination button 
so now our all component has been created now we will route them in our app.jx so for that we will use uh, import method for importing our routers so import country news um components slash country news and we will import the news and top headlines also so for that we will write the same thing import news from for the top headlines we will write import again the components and we have done a little bit mistake over here we have to set as a routers routes and now we can use them over here so head up now we can get a router functions router routes and we can use them and here we can create route provide the path so if our url is simply this that means uh, localhost and we write nothing then we will show them uh, news which will be a uh, news function so we will import that and we will write scene for the top headlines and country so here we will paste it and if uh, we have top headlines as a url then we will configure them to be category and here also we will use the top headline url similar for the country we will use country and the iso code and we will use the component of our country so country news okay so i have created one more file which is post dot post css dot config you have to install this in your terminal uh, in your client so just install that and everything has been configured and written now let's check our server it's is it running or not so npm run there and make sure you have created another tape uh, make sure you have opened the another tape uh, make sure you mix make sure you open two terminals one for the backend which is server change the directory to the server and start your server by node server node server.js and for the front end create another term another create in another terminal uh, go to your client directory and uh, um, start your localhost by running npm run there now when this website should be run okay so website has been running so let's go to our port and start it once again server.js and Note server judges it's running. Let's reroute this auto business. Okay, so we are not able to fetch the data. Let's see what happens to the Okay, so we have 
then the mistake uh, typo which is it is path so just change that and the server will be automatically restart okay so here we have the news you can check that pagination has been working very well you can change the uh, theme of the project also and the source location uh, has also been working and we can go to the different of headlines and terminals check if it is responsive as we use telvin's cases for that yeah it is responsive and okay so it's working fine that's it we successfully built a news aggregator using OneStick. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more coding tutorials. And if you encounter any kind of error while creating this website, you can join the Discord server, link in the description and drop your error over there. We will try to respond to you as soon as possible. We will try to resolve your error as soon as possible don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified whenever i push a new video thanks for watching and happy coding